Hello and welcome to episode 61 of series 1 of Master League Story Mode. Now I go into this episode with mixed emotions. Part of me really wishes that I'd started this series earlier. It's a shame that the end of the third season has to coincide with the end of PES 16, or more, more accurately, the release of PES 17. Because saying goodbye to some of these players, Obi Ulari, Emi Buendia, Safir Tider, the list goes on. Saying goodbye to these players is going to be tough. I'm not going to enjoy it. But what will make me enjoy it, even just a little bit, is if we win both of the finals that we have today. Yes, this is the finals episode. Champions League final, FA Cup final. Both of them against the Manchester clubs. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be exciting. Um, so I'm not going to mess around with any uh, words from Tim, any behind the scenes action, because I'm prepping all of that for the end of the week, hopefully, depending on how things go with the release for Series 2. Yep, Series 2 of Master League Story Mode. I'm really excited. Uh, again, I'm not going to give away any secrets, but it's not long away, so you can wait. We can all wait for that. Today, I'm just going to crack on, get these final games finished. Let's just sim this game against Hull. It's a nil-nil, of course. Ah, oh, looks like we're going to finish outside the top four, but no matter. Let's just steam on here to the first of our two finals for this episode, the FA Cup final. So we've had a lot of players rested again. It's our second team that went out against Hull in the last game, so we can bring back in Buendia. Bakali back out onto his favoured left side. Nathan Redmond still injured. Oh, yeah, so no. Ibe starts on the left. Bakali on the right. Ibe's come in really nicely. Uh, Safir Tider obviously comes in for Wilshire. And then Ndai on a red, that's important. Rose left back on a yellow. And then finally, it's Henley and Fabio back into the side. Everyone looking good there, looking solid. Uh, again, against a Manchester City team that we know well. We seem to have played them many, many times this season. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, Sergio Aguero, they're the danger men for this team. But uh, we're full of danger ourselves. Let's get into it. So, it's been a long journey down from the north of England for both of these clubs. Manchester City and Blackburn. I don't know whether they uh, car shared. They could have done Guardiola, Sherwood. You know, sharing a lift down. I can imagine that. They're probably good buds by now. They've played so many games against each other. Uh, we've generally come out on top, but this is where it counts. Wembley Stadium. The most incredible cup competition in the world domestic cup competition well I mean out of all the cups the FA Cup's amazing and uh, you know we were all about the cups this season ourselves if we can win this one at the very least I'd like to win one of the two the Champions League and the FA Cup ideally both we've been so dominant this season that to not win both of these now would be a real shame oh, saying goodbye to these guys Emi Buendia oh, Zachary Bacali how can I forgot to mention him Mighty Mouse and Ndai there, captaining the side today. From the back, the general. Ooh. So we started both of our important semi-final matches against Bayern with an early loss, with an early goal to Bayern. So let's see if we can avoid that in this game. Oxford steams through the back of Aguero. That's what's known in the trade as a reducer. Little, uh, little bit of football knowledge for you there. Just letting him know he's there. Well, in Sergio Aguero, we don't want to let him turn. You definitely don't want to do that, running away from him. A decent ball into Sergio Aguero. This is danger here from... Manchester City, that's a nice ball back into Aguero. Difficult angle for him. Fabio able to punch away, but oh, good tackle, Safir Tider. Donson, that's an incredible ball out to Jordan Ibe. The ball to Harry Kane is on. He's got ahead of Vincent Company. Oh, he couldn't quite manufacture a shot there. But it's uh, it's not over yet. Ibe now puts the ball in. Oh, couldn't find anyone. Oh, Sa Silva somehow gets away from Donson. But Buendia is in. Now that's Chris passing here. Henley ball over the top to Bacali. He looks inside. It's Safir Tider, the captain. Cuts back inside. Vincent Company. Tider with the left foot. Whoa. First proper shot on target of the match. Great little pass in from Bacali there with his head. A little chip over to him. It's the captain. Bacali takes it onto his unfavoured left foot. And he's going to have to do well to score from there. That's more like a Buendia type of goal. Comes De Bruyne into Raheem Sterling. He's looked decent so far. Zabaleta. Godfrey Donser out making a nuisance of himself again. He's tracking the run of Zabaleta really well. That's great play from Donser. And Buendia gets a foot in on Evans. Evans puts the ball in long. And oh, that's, that's a great turn from Sergio Aguero. It's a great hit. Aguero puts them a goal up. Absolutely no pressure there on the Man City striker. Really, really should have 
closed him down a bit quicker. It's a simple ball in. And then Ndai overcommitted. Or is that Oxford? I think it was Oxford. And Ndai maybe a little slow off the mark. And he left him. And uh, you don't want to give Aguero chances like that. It's a great ball into Aguero. Oxford struggling to get with him. Great tackle, Reese Oxford. It's good passing. It's ripped us apart there. Sterling into space. Sergio Aguero again. He's got Ndai with him this time. He's got away from Ndai. Danny Rose couldn't get with him either. Outside of the boot. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh, McCarley has it nicked off him. And now Man City look to break. <sighs> That's a poor tackle from Zachariah Bacali. Oxford up against Aguero. Aguero's got the better of him. That's a good shot. Oh, Danny Rose. That's an incredible tackle. Needed that. Now it's Safir Tider. Can he get a cross in? He can. Harry Kane's there. Doesn't fall to Kane. Oh, that could have been the equalising goal we needed. 49 minutes on the clock. And it's half time. We're a goal down. And Man City looking dominant here. We've not managed a shot on target. Harry Kane, though, was clean through at the beginning. We really should have finished that. So we need a goal here. And we need it badly. Don't want to be losing this FA Cup. I love the FA Cup. We can't not win the FA Cup. Ball inside to Aguero. Flicks it over his head. But Buendia's in there. That's great play from Emi Buendia. Tider looking long for Jordan Ive. That's a great ball from the captain. Oh, Ive's ball to Kane. Oh, it's a mistake. Ball to Harry Kane with the right foot. The finish. Yes, come on. Harry Kane draws it level. A little bit of a scrappy play there from Blackburn. Didn't really look like we were going to be able to craft a chance out of that. Looks like Ibe's ball over the top was, um, yeah, that was of a poor quality. But he was in there, nicked it back. That's really poor defending. And he tried to take it inside of company. He steamrolled him, but it fell to Harry Kane. His first real effort of the match. And he slotted that past Joe Hart. And we're back in this. Geezer press. Starting to work here. No, they're out. Oh, good tackle, Godfrey Donser. Oh, Buendia in as well. Ibe looks long for Harry Kane. You take this down. Harry Kane with the right. Oh, it's 2-1. Harry Kane with a quick fire. Two goals. And that was a great ball home from Jordan Ibe. Jordan Ibe, the creator of both of these goals. And uh, that was gorgeous. Emi Buendia got a good block in. The Giza press really working hard to pin back in Manchester City. But that's a great ball over Harry Kane. He took it down really nicely. And then side foot finish past Joe Hart. And uh, Man City don't know what have hit him. Guardiola, not a happy bunny. That was a great ball from Jordan Ibe. He has done really well deputising for Nathan Redmond. He's not been our first choice all season, but then right at the end of the season, Redmond gets injured. We have to bring him in for these crucial games, and he's performed really well. Is Bacali, we've not seen much of him so far. It's inside to Tider. Ibe, Kane, back into Jordan Ibe. Jordan Ibe, can he make it three? Oh, we should have done. They've worked the space. Finding Zappaletta. And Wendia again defensively. He's been great today. Look at that little chip over into Donza. And now they break. Man City here. Struggling to keep up. It falls into Bacali. He's got away from Kolarov. Zakaria Bacali. Zakaria Bacali. Yes! 3-1! And there it is. The travelling Blackburn fans. Who've made up a significant part of this Wembley crowd. Because essentially the entire city of Blackburn is here. And uh, wow. That was an incredible bit of play by Zachariah Bacali. He's been quiet in this game so far. But he's really, really lit up the game there with that run. Away from Zabaleta. That touch. Zabaleta really didn't need to... Not Zabaleta. Kolarov even didn't need to slide in there. And it's Buendia back into the right. And Joe Hart didn't really make much of, uh, much of an attempt to save that. What a turnaround this has been for Blackburn. And now Wilshere and Ulari coming on here. Just to uh, try and shore things up with some uh, good passing and... Bit of height in the box from Ulari. Good ball through, but Oxford deals with that nicely. Good ball from uh, Safir Tider into Bacali. Bacali looks for the run of Jack Wilshire. He steps inside. Jack Wilshire with the curling shot. Oh, what an impact that would have been from the little man. But uh, it wasn't to be. It was a good ball from Bacali. Looks like it could be all over here. It's Godfrey Donser. Inside of Evans. Strong running from Tiny Donser. No, Evans has got that back. And that's it. There it is. An FA Cup win. Our target this season was Champions League glory. But, oh, there he is. Tim Show. He's on the pitch. And he's running. That suit is far, far too big for him. But, uh, oh, what a performance that was today. Coming back from a goal down after an early finish from Sergio Aguero. But it was great, great play. Great passion shown. There's Tider and Tim. 
Oh, what a day this has been for the Blackburn fans, for the Blackburn faithful who travelled down. Just another trademark, passionate and just unerring performance. Just kept going, kept trying. And eventually we got our goals. We ran away with it in the end, as we have done in so many occasions this season. And there they are, the team, the Blackburn fans. Oh, it's really turned around the fortunes of this club, bringing in Tim Sherwood. I don't think anyone could have predicted this three seasons ago with the Venkies at the helm, slowly ruining the club. And they brought in a manager who was a bit of a laughing stock. No doubt about that. Uh, look at that, all the Blackburn fans have stayed behind for three or four hours. They're pretty much going to be living here at Wembley. Uh, it was a close game. Absolutely a close game. Who got man of the match? Harry Kane, of course. Buendia was anonymous. Jordan I had a great game. He's been excellent. End of the season. He's really helped us in the running. So here we go. FA Cup best manager for Tim Sherwood. Absolutely, of course. Uh, an individual award for someone. I don't know who that was. Nathan Redman has returned as well. Uh, international friendly matches. I wonder if one of these is going to come before the Champions League final. I reckon it probably will. Harry Kane, player of the tournament, Jordan Ibe, assist leader, Tim Sherwood, best manager, we know that. So, here we go, Champions League final, let's take a look at the teams. Obviously, we put all these players back in, it's a shame that Safir Tide is on a blue, I'm not sure why he can't be uh, pumped up for this game. Well, that's just what we're going to have to deal with. Uh, does Redmond come back in, or has Jordan Ibe earned his spot in the team? No, I think Redmond, uh, he's got us here, so he starts. Jordan Ibe's been great. Obviously. It's a shame that Tider's not up for this. Um, but, hey, not a problem. Uh, that's our squad to start. And uh, Man, Man United have got all this way with uh, Martial up front. He's not great in this game. 77 overall. We've beaten them this season, as we have with Man City. Let's hope we can do it now. At the San Zero. Wow, what a theatre of dreams that is. But not the theatre of dreams. So here we go. Go. At the beginning of this series, I had a rough idea that we were going to be cutting it pretty fine with the release of Pen 17. I think I sort of knew we only had three seasons, and uh, so I set the target. It was a bit of a pie in the sky target, really, of a Champions League win within three seasons, taking us from the Championship, getting promoted, getting Champions League qualification, and then a Champions League win in three seasons. Something that no manager has ever managed. No manager has ever managed. Yeah, that does make sense. Anyway, sorry, sounded a bit weird. But who better to do it than Tim Sherwood? As I said before, he was a he was a character of of comedy, really a comedy character in the Premier League. Tim Sherwood, but uh, I always knew that he had the drive and the passion and the man management skills, as he's displayed on so many occasions this season, to drive a team of um, you know they're not international stars. We've bought in quality, sure we have. Harry Kane, obviously, is one of our star players, but a lot of these players have been built up. And a lot of them are so young. Reese Oxford, he's in his 20, 21, is he? Nathan Redmond, still 23. Uh, Emi Buendia, he's 21. Bakali, 21. Ulari, 21. And we've brought in some serious youth. And we've built them up, as Tim Sherwood is known for. And he's got them to this point, the Champions League final against Manchester United. This is, would be the perfect ending to this series. We've got to win this one. We've absolutely got to win this one. So we're off. This is the big one. This is what we have worked for. 61 episodes. This has been the purpose. We've won the league already. We've won the FA Cup. For us now, it is European glory that defines whether this series has been a success. Whether Tim Sherwood has executed his plan as he planned. Pressure here. Early doors has been all Blackburn. Nice ball out to Bacali. He takes Valencia down the line. Tries to get across him with the left. It's out for the first corner of the game. Goes to Blackburn. Safir Tidal will whip this one in. Kane tries to get ahead to it. Oh, Danny Rose. Great hustle. Ball on the floor. Emi Buendia is off the post and off the other post. And it's out for another corner kick. Emi Buendia nearly putting us ahead straight away. It's a great run from Danny Rose. Buendia slides in. Cannons off both posts. Then Schneidlin able to get it away for a corner. Drama here. Early doors. It's a long ball as we've come to expect. But Oxford just can deal with those all day. Henley down the line. Inside to Redmond. Back from injury. It's a nice little ball into Safir Tider. Harry Kane. Can he spin away from Finn, Phil Jones? He can. It's still Kane in the box. Back to Safir Tider. 
He couldn't see a shot and Juan Mata tidies that up. Good play from the little Spaniard. Oh, Godfrey Doncer. He bangs it. Long range. Oh, De Gea. He's up to the challenge. Decent ball in for Juan Mata. He's got away from Ndai. Oh, great save from Fabio. Mata was always going to have to do something special to score from that distance. But he span and die really nicely. Danger there. Danny Rose. Weighing up his options. Decides to go inside to Mbwendia. Mbwendia edge of the box. The curling shot. De Gea gets a hand to it. Mbwendia loves those positions. It's inside to Mbwendia. And that's half time. Well. I don't really think anyone's had the edge in this. It's been a cagey game from both sides. We had opportunities. Mbwendia hit the post. I mean stats wise we're definitely ahead. It doesn't necessarily feel like it. Oh, it's cagey as you'd expect in a, in a Champions League final. Blackburn just taking stock here. Trying to build things from the back. Reese Oxford on one of his runs. Bacali now. Up against Varela. Tries to use his pace down the line. Throws the dummy. Oh, Valencia just gets a tackle in. Bacali, great play. He's won that back. Oh, Buendia was fouled, surely. I mean, Buendia, edge of the box, hits it, it's wide. Oh, Buendia was fouled by Daley Blin there. That ball in. Oh, he, he, ah. He's come out as far as Henley. He whips one in. Oh, doesn't fall to anyone in a Blackburn shirt. Marcus, Ro Marcus Rojo, pressured there by Safir Tider. It's back to Emi Buendia. Emi Buendia with a left foot curler. Oh, De Gea. Somehow able to stop Emi Buendia scoring one of his trademark goals. How sweet it would be to see Emi win us the Champions League with one of them. Which we've seen so many times this season. Sherwood going all, all out for the win here. Taking off a defensive player. Bringing on Obiulari. We want to get this one in normal time. We, we're in the ascendancy here. Obiulari, nice back heel. He finds Redmond down the line. Cuts inside a Schneidlin. Ball in, looking for Harry Kane again. It's forced to Bacali. Oh, almost... Got that on target. Oxford here should win this. Godfrey Donser spreads it wide to Danny Rose. Danny Rose takes it around Valencia. Ball inside to oh, Obi has got away. Obi with the shot and it's wide. First chance of the game there for Obi Decent chance on the edge of the box. It was a good pass in from Harry Kane. Two up front now. He steps away from Schneiderlin with that strength. Hits it. Oh, close. So when Buendia comes off, it's not going to be a Champions League winning goal for him. And Jack Wilshire comes on. How, can he feed the two centre forwards we've now got on the pitch? Valencia, good turn away from Bacali. But Bacali sticks to him like glue. Balls out to Dali Blind. Oxford's with him. It's a good ball in. Donser there to deal with it. It's a nice play though from Blackburn as they look to launch the break with Jack Wilshire. It's got Redmond in space on the right. Obi in the box as is Harry Kane. Rebben can whip a good ball in now. Obi with the header. Falling out to Kane with the oh, with another header. It's off the line. Still Blackburn. Little chip in. Obi again. Doesn't fall to him. Looks like this is going to extra time here. Oxford should have this. Gets it away. Rose. Oh. And at full time, it's nil nil. Lari and Kane both had a chance to win it there at the death. But it's going to extra time. United not able to get off a shot on target so far. We've been all over this. Letting this get to penalties now would be an absolute travesty. So extra time it is. We've got to win this in normal time. There's no way we can let this go down to penalties. That would be awful. Martial's a great ball in for Schweinsteiger. Oh, straight into Fabio. Thank God for that. Ball into Harry Kane. Looks back round to Bacali. He's made the run. Left foot ball into Lari. The two Belgians. Wilshire ball into Redmond, but Tevez gets ahead of him, and that's a great ball into Martial. Can he take it down? He does. Into Marcus Rojo, the defender. Almost chips Fabio. Schweinsteiger on the rebound. Can he die get it away here? Oh, just falls to Fabio. And then he fields it out. Ulari. That's a poor ball from Obulari. The ball into Martial is a great one. Oh, no, no, no way. It's Marcus Rojo who seems to have moved into central, central striker role there for Man United. And they take the goal. Take them ahead in extra time. We knew this would happen. We should have taken the chance. It was a poor ball from Obulari. And the ball in was a good one. Martial took it down. The shot was just about charged down by Fabio. Then the rebound fell to Marcus Rojo. 
It's Jordan Ibe now coming on for Nathan Redmond. Many say that we should have started Ibe. He was in great form. Redmond only back from injury and he struggled to make an impact on this game. Ball comes out to Wilshere. He whips it in. Bacali's the only one there. Falls back to Harry Kane. Can't get a shot away. Oh, but it's Bacali. He's won it back again. Zachary Bacali into the box. It's fallen to Kane. Kane with the shot. With the left foot shot. And he's put it wide. And that's half time. It could be all over here for Blackburn. We've had so many chances. I can't believe this could happen. Donser. Donser again. Tiny Donser. Ball out to Jordan Ibe. He's in a good position. Cross coming in. Harry Kane with the header. Oh, it's there. One haul. And Blackburn through Harry Kane. The captain today are back in this Champions League final matchup. Unbelievable scenes here. Oh, it was a great run from Ibe down the side. It was a good ball in. Harry Kane rose strongly ahead of the uh, Man United player. I don't know who that was. But it was a great finish. We're back in this. Oh, the stress. I don't think I can handle penalties. That would be too much. Danny Rose, good tackle. No, the ball into Martial. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We switched off there, thinking about penalties. And it's 2-1. Good passing from United. Finally, they put together some balls on the floor. Rose misses a tackle there. He should have won that back. And the ball into Martial was simple. It was a good finish. Throw into Zachary Bacali. Oh, but Danny Blinn nicks in there. Suddenly, he's become the best player in the world. Obi Lari, great tackle. Came back to Lari. Into Jordan Ibe with the left foot. Oh, it's a deflection. It's a deflected goal for Jordan Ibe. And it's two all here in extra time in the Champions League final. This is incredible. Unbelievable here. Blackburn somehow able to do that. It was a great tackle from Obi We've seen him so many times in his career. Stick out that long leg. And uh, it was not a great shot from him. But it fell to Ibe fortuitously. And it bounces off Marcus Rojo into the net past De Gea. Can't believe this is going to go to penalties. I really, really am gutted about that. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. Penalties, seriously. I, I don't want penalties. Nobody wants penalties. I don't believe we can let it go to penalties. I'm so shit at penalties. You just don't ever have a chance to practice them. It's not on. It's just not on. I think we, we, I think we won something on penalties. We've been to penalties before. It might have been an FA Cup or a Champions League game. Harry Kane here. Steps up. He's been incredible in the last few games of the season. He has been a real big game player. Let's see who he gets on. We'll put it down the right. To De Gea's left. Harry Kane smashes it. Side netting. That's a great start for Blackburn. It's Anthony Martial, the youngster, steps up. Fabio. He's been a great servant of the club. He goes left. Martial into the roof of the netting. Who's up next? It's Jackie Boy Wilshere. Wilshire elects to hit it down the centre. Oh, it's come off the feet of De Gea. If that had gone a bit more central, then that would have been fine. But it wasn't to be. It's Fabio now against Tevez. I can't imagine Tevez missing. He doesn't. Fabio again goes to his right. This isn't looking good here. Obi Ulari. Obi Ulari goes to the left-hand side. And that's a good finish. But we need a mistake here from United, it looks like. It's Michael Carrick, the old battler. Fabio goes, oh, Carrick's ballooned it over the bar. Roberto Baggio-esque. And now it falls to the tiny, oh, me close. We need you now, Godfrey Donser. This better be a good finish. Oh, it slipped under De Gea. Just a P-roller there into the right-hand side. And now it's Bastian Schweinsteiger. Oh, and he's just, just, that was, that was nice. That was nice. Falls to Zachary Bacali. The hero of this side. Carly elects to go left. Oh, just sneaks past De Gea. Just sneaks in. And now it's down to this last penalty. Come on, Fabio. You've gone right on everyone so far. I think we're going to go right again. Will Fabio be the hero for this Blackburn side? Up against Morgan Schneidlin. Oh, no, that's a great penalty there from Schneidlin. And now we're down to the lower orders of the penalty takers. Danny Rose, the left back. Oh, it's a good penalty. De Gea looked like he could have had that one. 
Daily Blind, I'd expect this to be a decent penalty from the Dutchman. And it is a good penalty. Fabio again goes to his right. He's an ambi-turner, it seems. Jordan Ibe, he's had a great game. No, that's straight at De Gea. De Gea not flinching at all there. And this is Matteo Darmian to win the Champions League for Manchester United. And there it is. And we've... <laughs> I don't believe it. How can we go out on penalties? Oh, I'm so sorry to everyone who's watched this series through. I'm sorry to Tim Show and I'm sorry to myself. The hours that I've put in. And then to throw it away on penalties. Oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted. I mean, at least we won the FA Cup, but wow. I'm... I'm actually genuinely emotional now. Jordan Ibe, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Oh, to be so close, to be so dominant in the final as well. Some of the chances in that game were ridiculously close. You played well. That's the thing. Oh, well, I'm done with Pez 16 now. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, this is just the final straw in what has been an incredibly disappointing episode. I mean, we won the FA Cup, which is good. Look at that, the UEFA Champions League has just ended and your beloved Blackburn Rovers will run us up, which is simply unacceptable. Well, I agree. It is unacceptable, but um, what a horrible way to finish this series. I am truly, truly gutted. So I'm quite happy to say goodbye to PES 16 really today. I'm so sorry to leave Series 1 of Master League Story Mode on such a down note. But uh, we, didn't, we didn't take our chances. We did not take our chances. So it's goodbye to Tim Sherwood. It's goodbye to this incredible band of brothers. I mean, I'm sure that we will mention them again. They're not dead to us. I'm pretty sure Tim Sherwood will pop up in future series. Uh, maybe Emmy Buendia. We can look to sign him back. I don't know. I just can't think of anything at the moment. It's been, uh, it's been great fun, this series. And it's um, been a shame to leave it on this, but we are. So, until possibly Friday, but maybe Monday, depending on things how, how things go with uh, PES 17. I'll see you in a bit.